Recently, HBO's Last Week Tonight with John Oliver did a segment on charter schools. Now, charter schools are schools that receive government funding but operate independently. And even though less than 6% of students in grades K through 12 attend charter schools, John Oliver wants to make sure you fear them 100%. Thanks for that, John. Your segment was a welcome reprieve. For 18 minutes, I got to laugh and stop worrying about the failing public school system and take part in you throwing some shade at the schools created as an alternative to those public failures. You know, the ones where one in every five high school students fails to graduate in four years. Hey man, but that's okay, because it's not like that diploma means much, especially in the inner city. Take Detroit, where 96% of eighth graders lack proficiency in reading, and the city gets all that failing for the bargain price of just $14,000 per student per year. That's more than private school. <laughs> I also want to thank you for highlighting examples of corruption within charter schools. Not only was it hilarious, but it made me forget about all the corruption in public schools. I mean, who wants to think about entire school systems faking student test scores or even pushing underperforming students to drop out? And seriously, why would I want to know about officials stealing millions from the public schools to pad their own pockets? Oh, do you remember when you talked about charter schools so flawed they don't make it through the school year? Around the country, there have been charter schools so flawed they don't make it through the school year. Man, that was a pretty good dig at charter schools. But you also showed how they're held accountable for their failings that if charter schools don't produce results, and especially if they're involved in criminal activity, they'll be shut down. And in that moment, I totally forgot about all the public schools so flawed, they make it through the school year and the school decade, and on and on and on. How do they do that, John? And good on you, John, for not bringing up all the successful charter schools. It just would have confused people. I was also glad you didn't mention how important charters are for poor minority kids. 76% of U.S. charter school students are non-white, and 39% of students are eligible for free or reduced price lunch. And John, it was sheer genius the way you ignored the fact that students in urban areas do significantly better in school if they attend a charter school than if they attend a traditional public school. Man, if you had mentioned all the disadvantaged black and Hispanic kids who are lucky enough to attend charter schools and who succeed because of them, then people might take a moment to think about all the kids who are not so lucky to escape. You know, the kids and parents who have no choice but to stay in their failing public schools. And that kind of nuance really screws up your argument and your punchlines. Thanks for watching, guys. Please subscribe to our channel, We The Internet TV. We release new videos every Thursday and Friday. And what do you think about charter schools? Let us know in the comments.